much does this group understand, uh, especially when you're playing a team like Oklahoma State, uh, the ability of, of taking the transition chances that are there offensively, but then also that you guys can really frustrate the team when you do go a full 30 seconds here and there on your shot clock. With or you're talking with Oregon. You said Oregon. Yeah, like, really? Similarly, what you were able yeah, to do yeah. against Oklahoma State. No, I, th I think that is uh, our kids. We you have to get you have to get easy points in this at this time of the year or you're not going to score. So we must run on. We at Michigan as long as I've been there, unless we're ahead late. No, we're running on absolutely every single turnover, every single rebound. You've never seen us not run. Now, or the coaches not want them to run. Now, whether they run or not, that's up to whether they're going to sprint or not. A lot of our kids don't think running is jogging. We got to we got to sprint up the court. So we have to take advantage of that against Oregon. Oregon's got this really unique stat: number one in the league in offensive transition, number one in defensive transition. I've never seen that stat because usually if you're scoring, you're outnumbered going the other way. And they've really done a great job, so that's a big challenge. And who's a better matchup for, for Brooks, um, DJ, or Zach? I think both of them uh, will uh, probably guard him at different times.